experiences. So, has anyone here heard of uh, global warming? Yes. yes. Yeah. You know what global warming is, right? Yeah. Everyone. Can, anyone, can you tell me what global warming is? Pollution. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> you seem to know. Yeah. Pollution. Yeah, it's like pollution, right? Yeah. And when there's a... Uh, our our, our uh, evolution is our... Um, Yeah, exactly. You taught them well, didn't you? <laughs> so what, what gas is most responsible for global warming? CO2. CO2. I hear CO2 because when they when you burn gasoline and when you burn coal, it, uh, it, it heats up the whole planet. And that's what I'm studying. I'm studying uh, global warming, and I'm using these boxes to do it. But good question. <laughs> Just a, a, a few weeks ago, I, I was using these boxes to study them, and suddenly they all disappeared. <laughs> I was I was up in uh, has anyone ever heard of Berkeley? Yes. UC Berkeley? Yes. Yeah, I was I was studying up there at UC Berkeley, uh, studying some things that were happening in Oakland. It seems that uh, there's this very strange black cloud of pollution that's been kind of hovering around the Bay Area up there. You've all heard that there were huge forest fires up there and everything. So I was studying that because there are very some very strange uh, environmental things happening up there. So how do you how do you all feel like the environment is down here in South Central? Too hot. It's great, right? Yeah, Perfect. It's great. No. Perfectly yeah. green. No. Yeah. No, of course not. Um, <laughs> but it's not just South Central. It's every city in America, and it's every city in the world. In yeah. China, uh, in in Europe, in Africa, everywhere. So um, so I'm trying to do a little bit. And these sensor boxes. Um, have this little cloud on it, they can actually kind of taste the air. Yeah. So uh, I've been doing a little research, and uh, can I say I've been studying some reports and trying to understand if this black cloud, this strange black cloud that's up in the Bay Area, it might be down here. So this is why I've been studying these sensor boxes. You see, yeah, I got these right here. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah. So I'm hoping to, to study the air around here. And, uh, you know, I don't plan on coming back because I know Mr. Garcia, he's got stuff to teach you. But um, I really appreciate all this. And I hope you, you did you enjoy your breakfast? Yeah. 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 Thanks very much. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. How, how the sensor I know. Yeah, maybe I can take questions. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it in the <laughs> environment? Uh, well, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you might know. No? <laughs> we love they were just in here one day? Yes. I, I, you know, here's what was happening. I was using them up in the Bay Area, and I had, you know, suddenly they were all gone, and I just didn't know where they were. But the, actually, these things can communicate with uh, kind of like a satellite. So I, they have a little cell phone inside them, see? Some kind of uh, high-tech device here. And I can kind of tell what city they're in. So I knew they were right around the South Central area, but I didn't know they were in this classroom. So I was hoping maybe I could talk to you sometime and see if you saw it. Do you see any, like, strangers around here? Just no? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just yeah. strangers yeah. everywhere, right? <laughs>